What is going on garden fans? Welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. In today's episode we are going out to the project site to do a little bit of chopping and dropping. We are trying to prepare for statewide agriculture and art tours that we are a part of. So check down in the description. I got some info about those statewide South Carolina State agriculture and art tours and come on back and enjoy the journey. Before you start though, if you haven't already, please hit the like button, tap subscribe, and please share this video. Uh, YouTube has demonetized us because the content we are putting out is just so controversial. So we need your help to kind of get back in the good graces of YouTube. So please like, share, and subscribe, and come on back, enjoy the journey. Welcome back to the Project Site Garden fans. For those of you who are new, we are located in Zone 8, Gaston, South Carolina. This is a, my gosh, I think we're going on an eight-year-old food forest. And it is my job today to do some chop and drop. Now, it is June, beginning of June, and in South Carolina, June, July, August always ends up being the hottest part of the year. So we gotta really manage our water resources wisely at this time of year. Part of that is doing a chop and drop so that we don't have as much competition for the water resources that we have available. So my job today is to thin out this thick jungle of a food forest you see. And I'm sure you can see it is very thick here. Some of our trees are getting overtaken by wild shrubs and weeds. And it is my job to chop and drop this whole place down to get it ready for some tours we are doing next week. And I'll have some information on those tours down in the description box. Uh, we are part of the South Carolina Agriculture and Art Tour. And I will be doing tours all weekend, next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, out here at the project site. So what I'm gonna do, is just step back, give you a look at the whole place, kind of show you the thick, dense jungle it's become. I'm gonna go through here, do a bit of a chop and drop, and then I'll give you another look at the whole place after this. But as you can see, really thick, really dense at this time of the year. We've had our spring rains, and now all the weeds are starting to kind of overtake everything. So it's my job to clean it up out here a little bit and get us ready for next week's tours. Here's a before. And I'll see you right back here in just a moment. All right, garden fans, welcome back. After about an hour in Chop and Drop, I wanna show you how this place looks. And I'll kinda of do a little bit by bit peek at a few things. Uh, once again, this place is getting to be about eight years old. So most of the trees and shrubs that we planted year one are now established. Uh, we got a row of figs down here on this swale mound. On the downhill side of this row of figs, we have alternating pawpaw and gumi berry and everything's fruiting, flowering right now, mostly fruiting actually. Um, definitely got figs on all the trees right now, figs. The blueberries are ready for harvest and they've been being harvest. I am just gonna show you a few of these shrubs. I'm not gonna go too deep into this blueberry patch, but I think you get the idea. This giant patch of blueberries is absolutely loaded down with fruit. This is the most productive these blueberries have been since we've been here. And I can't, I can't look, uh, you know, every square inch is covered with food. So I got blueberries here to my right. I've got figs over here to my left. I've got gumi berry and pawpaw trees further down. And then as I go further up this swale, in the paddy, we got plums coming up too. Now let me step up here, show you some of the chop and drop we did. And here then, I'm just trying to clear out in the meadowed areas. And literally we are just chopping and dropping, chopping and dropping trees, shrubs, weeds. Um, here is a pair of Chickasaw plums that are still fruiting and dropping fruit. I mean, they're dropping juicy fruit all over the place. Chickasaw plums. No, no pest damage on these. I mean, they're so loaded down, they can't even hold all the fruit. I mean, they're dropping fruit everywhere. So we're harvesting blueberries, we're harvesting plums. A uh, couple things like pomegranate and jujube are now setting fruit. The jujube had flowered, the pomegranate had flowered, and now the pomegranate trees, shrubs are all putting on fruit right now. Here is a jujube that's putting on fruit. 
these will be ready by about the end of summer. So jujube putting on fruit. Uh, persimmon here. This is a Japanese persimmon. And it flowered. And I know I saw fruit on here a little while ago. Uh, there's fruit on this tree, but it ain't even going to be ready till about November. So persimmon putting on fruit. This swale patty. Really, we did a lot of chopping and dropping. You're going to see all this green material on the ground there. But we really did a lot of chopping and dropping here around the swale patty up here. We got more jujube, more jujube, more pomegranate up here. We have a pair of pineapple guava coming in. So some pineapple guava, big cherry tree behind that. And here again, we got the, we're doing all this work because we got our tours, first tours of the year are coming up. We are a part of the agriculture and art tour here in South Carolina. And uh, this farm, Locklayer's Farm, is one of the stops on the tour. So next weekend, Saturday and Sunday, here again, I'm gonna put some info in the description. We are doing tours about every 20 to 30 minutes out here at this farm. Here I am at the top swale patty. We got hazelnuts, jujube, pomegranate, more hazelnuts. We've got a Chinese chestnut that's blowing up, giant plum right next to it, the mulberry stuck in there, pecan right there with a gummy berry under it, pear, Asian pear tree right here. The, the, the abundance and the variety of fruit and foods out here, garden fans, is more than I could tell you in one short video. So I do hope that some of you come out here to the tours uh, next weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I appreciate you all coming out right now to watch this video after we did a little chop and drop. The place looks beautiful. It is really starting to come along. Uh, at this time of year, you can see how it looks like a, a wild forest. And that was the plan from the very beginning to just make this look like a big wild food forest that kind of fits into the landscape and is doing a good job of doing that. Anyway, I appreciate y'all stopping out as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. That's what really helps us out right now. YouTube has decided to demonetize this channel because the content we put out is so controversial. So please help us out. Subscribe, like, share, get a buzz going again so that maybe we can possibly get monetized at some point in the future. Appreciate y'all watching. God bless.